Hello everyone, this is Mark Prochnik, librarian of the New Bedford Whaling Museum, here with another story from the snacks. This one, this is actually fairly interesting. What I have here is a journal, or a logbook kept on board the Christopher Mitchell. And in 1849, uh, on the voyage, specifically July 4th, 1849, something you don't hear about every day on whaling voyages happened. Something I think is very unique. Um, not really written about. And there's one fairly lengthy entry I'd actually like to read to you about exactly what happened. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm just going to read the entry and let the entry speak for itself. Um, but I think, I, think it's worth, I think it's worth reading its entirety because it's, it's very rich, it's very full, and what the keeper's noting here is something I, I think fairly extraordinary for William So, I'm going to begin on July 4th, 1849, on board the Christopher Mitchell, shipping out of Nantucket. Commences with fine weather and pleasant trades, off and on. The town of Peta at 5 p.m., the captain came on board. At 7 a.m., one of the foremast men came and told the captain that there was a woman in the forecastle and had been there all voyage. The person was one that shipped as George Johnson and when questioned, said her name was Ann Johnson, belonging to Rochester, New York, and had parents living there. We tacked the ships, what they wanted to do, they were essentially turning around. So they tacked the ship immediately and made sail for Peyton. Took Miss Johnson out of the forecastle and into the cabin. She says she is sorry she is found out as she wished to perform the voyage in the ship. She, she essentially said, She's sorry she was found out because she wanted to continue whaling on the voyage. Um, later part of the day, fresh trades and good weather heading east by north. So essentially what's going on here is there was a woman on board the voyage disguised as a man. Uh, she gave her name as a man, disguised as a man, and wasn't found out until July 4th, 1849. The vessel shipped from port on December 9, 1848, and she went undiscovered for that time until somehow or another someone discovered that George Johnson was actually Miss Johnson. Um, I don't, it, they don't say how she was discovered, but she was. And it, it was sort of a big deal because they just left port, and upon hearing this news, the captain immediately turned around, went back to Paita to drop her off to get safe passage home. Um, What's interesting is that she says she's sorry she was found out um, because she wanted to continue whaling. Um, wasn't sorry she deceived or wasn't sorry she, she was just sorry she found out because she wouldn't get the opportunity to continue whaling on the voyage. And I think that's, that's significant. The keeper reported basically exactly everything that happened. That's his job kept by the first mate. His job is to report on what is happening on the voyage and he reported exactly as it happened. So we have in the collection at least one instance, and this may be the only instance um, in all of our 2,500 William Law Books and Journals where a female ships secretly on board a whaling voyage, disguised as a man, and is found out. And according to the entry, um, she is immediately kicked off the ship. I would pull the crew list, but since it's a Nantucket voyage, I don't have the crew list in the collection, um, so I can't actually check and see what kind of physical description was attached to um, George Johnson when he, he when they shipped on the voyage. But that would be fascinating to see. At the very least though, we have historical documentation of Miss Johnson being asked to leave the ship and being taken ashore at Peta, even though they just left Peta hours before she was discovered. Um, and I think even though it's just one specific entry in a fairly thick journal, fairly thick logbook, I think that entry stands out um, out of the majority of entries that are in the collection. I think it's worth taking a look at if you ever get the chance to come down into Bedford, especially the museum and in the library. I got it right here. I'll show it to you. Come on out and take a look.